Hello. I feel like I owe you, first of all, an apology for the state of my fingernails. Ugh, I, yeah, I love gel polish and how long it lasts, but then getting around to actually removing it, it's like going to be in an all evening ordeal and I'm busy. So they look a total wreck, but I just wanted to film this flip through uh, while I have a minute and show you what my setup is looking like for the month of November 2019. Um, this month, just this month, because of the color scheme I've chosen, I'm in my stone colored Filofax Malden pocket size. Um, I think I'm going to move back into the ochre again for December, warm and cozy uh, kind of a color. Um, but for this month, I've explained this a couple times, but I picked purple and green as my color theme because it's my birthday month and I like purple and green. So that's what we're doing. Uh, let's start with the pockets. Uh, I have a, a fully charged battery this time, so I am uh, gonna take my time. First, we've got the front zipper pocket, I think has literally nothing in it. I took all of my change and donated it to uh, a, cha a charity drive uh, last month and so I have like a 20 in here and that's all. So um, the front has my driver's license and my most used credit card. The next pocket has a little card with my, um, I use this to cut washi tape and these are a couple of washi tapes. My little page flags from Daiso I use occasionally. And then in the back is, oh, some Target gift cards. Then in these pockets. This back vertical pocket has my little Winnie the Pooh. Um, I mean, basically this is just a washi holder card. And so I have been replacing the washi on this once a month when I do my monthly setup so that I can do a little bit of color coordinated planning on the go. So this is just some of the, you know, purple and green washi tapes. So I'm shaking because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten lunch yet. Uh, this is from Daiso as well. I got this a while ago and I just kind of think it's cute. So I have it sticking there and I think yeah, there's nothing in this pocket right now. Um, my pen loop is currently holding this little guy. I got this, um, as a little gift from the person who sold me my ochre. Um, and it's very fine tipped, but it fits in here nicely. Um, it's not the most comfortable. I'm thinking I might want to try to invest and try out the Muji gel pens because those I know have quite a cult following. Um, and they also, I believe, are slim like this and would be able to fit into my um, pen loop here. And then in the back pocket, I want to show you I, that I have a a single personal check in here in case I need it. I do have $20 in cash and then I have these stickers that I keep with me just again for planning on the go um, because they fit in the back pocket. I just kind of hang on to them. So we've got these from Twin 16. This is a little sampler from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Or I got some header stickers from more Twin 16s. Yeah, I think that's it. These ones are Planner Kate and then more Twin 16s. Love her shop. And while we're talking about stickers and here in the back, I will quickly show you this pocket in the back. Has some samplers from one from, no, a couple from Twin 16 and the rest from Planner Kate. I like the size of her little samplers and they're very useful. So I use these um, occasionally as well as some of their little freebies. And they're just, you know, stuck in this one little pocket. So there we go. Let's go back to the front and start flipping. This little uh, guy is from the R Little Red House on Etsy. I got this sticker in person at Comic-Con and he keeps me company at the front of my planner and he's super cute. So we've got Peanuts Planner Coat inserts for the month. And I think I might have thrown away the sticky note that told me which all of these inserts were, but if you check out my November plan with me, I do tell you there. Um, so here's just sort of a month grid with a couple of events. Here's tasks. And then these, these are like tasks by day. And then these are tax tasks by context. Then, um, after that, I have this little, my summer touch monthly. I think I'm going to be using this instead of the first two, um, for next month, um, I'm just kind of trying it out this month. I set it up to see how I liked it, and I really do. Um, I'm not currently using this tracker section for anything. I'm currently not using a tracker. Um, I think for next month, I'll try doing, like, tasks on this side and events on this side. 
um, and that way it'll be everything on one spread. So this, I really do like that it has a focus goal. So I have some tasks here related to, we're having, um, we're gonna rent out our room. And so that's happening later this month. Uh, for reference, I'm filming this on the 15th. I'm trying to get ahead a little bit. This is my bra tracker. Um, I'll link the video if you wanna see how that works. This is my NFP chart. This is also from my Summer Touch, it's brand new. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna show, uh, Emma I think wanted to see this a little bit more. I hope you got a good view. And then she also wanted to see this one, I think. So this, uh, instead of a tracker, uh, which I was kind of using previous months to keep track of my morning and evening routines and the things that I'd like to get done um, morning and evening every day. Instead, I have them on this new little all my routines insert from my summer touch. I think I mentioned this in my Instagram stories, if you follow me over there, that I probably wouldn't have paid money for this just seeing it. But since um, I'm on her PR team, she sent it to me and I have fallen in love with it. Um, I didn't think I would love it, but I do. It's really handy. Um, and so they just, you know, I can just check here in the morning and go, oh yeah, I haven't, you know, emptied the vacuum cleaner yet. Or, oh yeah, that's something else that I should do before I work. Um, and same in the evening. And then this is just sort of what my day looks like day in, day out. It's pretty much the same. So that works well for me. And then uh, this is over the course of a week, what your schedule looks like. Um, I was gonna put like video production steps on here, like I'll film on Mondays, but it keeps changing. And honestly, I don't think I will. I'm gonna redo this either for December or for the new year um, and just kind of spruce it up a little bit, make it maybe more decorative and a little bit more useful for me. But basically like this is my laundry schedule. Um, I do diapers on Mondays and Thursdays. And so, you know, I try to do one load of laundry every day during the week and none uh, on the weekends, which is nice. My waiting on list is getting a little full, so I'm gonna to need to replace that. I did redo my someday maybe list, got rid of all of the things that I had done or decided not to do. So it's a little bit more slimmed down and I <laughs> like never look at this, but I should at least every month or every couple weeks. So previously last month I was using the Mun Weeklies. Um, those are great. Um, go ahead and check out the, was it, uh, October weekly plan with me video where you see what those look like. Here in November, I'm using similar, also from my summer touch, but instead of having all of the months spread out, it's just a week on a fold out. So I'm using them pretty much the same, but I just can't see last week's or, you know, all the weeks at once. And it wasn't really something that I was using a lot. And the extra fold out was just starting to get a little bit much. Um, especially when I was doing a little bit of stuff on dailies, it was too much. So here I just have this week. So here's last week. I really like how this turned out. Just, you know, there's a little bit of, you know, decorative stuff going on on the left, which is fun. Um, and then also just a general to-do list for the week. And then um, this is for video production. And these are a list of dinners that I have the ingredients for. I've been, instead of doing like, Diana Pages or Bujo Dailies or anything, I've been using sticky notes. I was using some from AliExpress that I hated because they did not stick. These finally came in from Peanuts Planner Co. They took like a week to ship, it wasn't bad. Um, it's just that the tracking wasn't updating, so that was annoying. But um, here, yeah, this, like I'm filming this, like I said, on the 15th on Friday and I'm just using a sticky note. So I have like, I wanted a, a to-do list for today and this is uh, some things I want to get done at home for the evening, all of that. It's not so much a hourly thing because it's, it's a work day. It's all the same. But basically the idea is I have my daily to-do list, but I'm not going to need this after today. I'll just toss the sticky note. So it's just handy if I need it. So I have a couple back here. Uh, and it's the same um, layout with my video production tasks and my dinners that I have ready to go. Um, there's only one more thing left on my to-do list for the week that needs checking off. Everything else lives on the context list in the front, so I do check that every day if I can. Next section. This one is projects. The, these next two sections are a little bit nebulous, which is which, but that's why it's really helpful for me to have this sticky note uh, table of contents in here. So I'm like, which section is that in? And I see where it is. I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm looking for the backyard diagram. All right, so that's like the third one in here. Cool, I know that these, I just happen to know that these are only one page each, so there we go. 
Um, and then, yeah, it just, I'll, I'll show you. So this is a list of things I want to organize. This is like not made progress in forever. This is a diagram of our kitchen and I wanted to reorganize stuff. This is a little bit on hold until, um, our Tita moves in because she probably is going to want to store some stuff in the kitchen and we'll have to figure that out together. Backyard stuff also, it's just a lot. So I haven't really made progress. Um, this is some things for her, you know, tasks and questions about her moving in. These are some notes that I'm taking about what inserts I want to use for 2020, which I have not started on yet. I think I'm going to be doing a video, a blog post, something about that coming up next couple of weeks. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Check out my email list. I did do a whole video about this spread and how I plan my meals lately. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, and then here is my MH stuff, my Hogwarts.com. I talk about it all the time. Um, it previously has had its own tab, but there's only a couple pages in here. I didn't feel like it needed its own tab to look at all the time. So it's just in the back of my project section now and I stuck in a divider. These are a pair of stickers that I've been meaning to use for a while and they're really cute. I like using big stickers on just a piece of acetate so I can keep using this um, and not like use it once and it's gone. So here's the yearly calendar where I see, you know, what, what the years look like um, when they are in relation to the calendar year. My recurring task list, so this is all using the friction pen and so I just erase it um, and every year I reuse the same list. And then this is where I keep track of all the WizU stuff. I also using friction ink so that I can uh, erase it and replace it with more accurate information. I Sorry if you saw that fruit fly. I think it followed me here from work. Uh, then we've got, yeah, this is just some notes about some changes that are happening on the site. Uh, I, I didn't mention these, ins, these uh, what's them called, tab dividers are from Danny's Planner Cuties on Etsy. I got these like with my original ring planner setup when I first moved into that Asian vintage TN thing. This is back, if you look at my channel, this will be back around July uh, 2018 when I was on maternity leave. I released all of these videos about moving into rings. You can go back and look at that. Um, so this next section, instead of projects, this one is like reference. So things that are a little bit less actiony. Like I said, it's nebulous, but that's why it's helpful to have the tabs that tell me what is in here. Um, so we've got, yeah, my list of library books currently checked out, some that I'd like to read someday maybe if, I, if I'm if i looking for an idea of what to read, it's here. Uh, same for what to watch here. And then gift ideas and wish list I've covered up because it's gift giving season and I just kind of want to keep that private. Christmas list. This is uh, some, I, I just pulled out a piece of paper, started writing down some things that need to get done in order to plan for Christmas. So this is like a list of in of inserts I want to make. Um, the plan is to have sort of a flip through of my Christmas planning by December 1st. So that's what I'm setting my goal as. I'm going to have at least like in spreads for Christmas. Not all of my Christmas planned, but all of my planning planned by December 1st. <laughs> Uh, so like this is a list of things that need decorating um, and so I'm gonna assign like dates of when I want to do that. These are pretty cool but I haven't gotten a lot of use out of them just yet. We've gotten as far as making a list of who we want to get gifts for but these gift list inserts act fast. These are from the planner spot um, and it's a freebie that's on her website so you can print it out and use it but I believe that these go away um, after a couple of weeks, it's not just like there forever. So check it out sooner rather than later, the planner spot, um, uh, if you are interested in this. So basically just put, you know, what the gift is for, and then you can, you know, list some ideas or budget and stuff like that. Um, I think I'm going to use this for sort of planning and brainstorming a little bit. And then once I know what we need to get at the store, I'll make a list for the store. So we generally will like, go to Marshall's or something with a list of people to buy for and just kind of pick something that's within our budget that we think would work for a lot of the, you know, less nuclear parts of our family. So all of these ones in a paper clip are the ones that we've decided like we people were getting gifts for. So I'm not showing you that, but this, I have some extra sheets in here because I accidentally printed a whole bunch. So they're just here in case I decide I need more. Next tab, this is all of my YouTube channel, blog, 
an in Instagram and social media presence section. I promised, I think, last month that I wanted to show you a little bit better how I use this because I've kind of glossed over it in previous flip throughs. First of all, this, I keep forgetting, oh, I keep forgetting the shop that this is from. Again, I got it in person at Comic-Con, so, but I think she probably has an online presence. Ask me if you're interested and I will find it. Um, this is just a list of social media accounts so that I can remember. I don't use this, but it's there. It's not unhelpful, so there you go. Uh, I did all of this in my November plan with me, so if you've already watched that, you'll have seen. Basically, I just highlighted the days that I want to have something posted on that day, and I try my best to schedule it in advance. So um, I once it's uploaded and all the metadata, everything is ready to go, I put a check. And then there's like a line between each week. It's light green. I don't know if you can see it, but um, like I'm filming this on Thursday. Everything is done for this week. So I just know that like I'm filming this video right now. I'm looking forward to the next week, but like I know that I, at least until Sunday, I'm good. So like if I don't do anything this weekend, it'll be fine. So that's that's how I use this. Next, we have another context list. So this is for tasks related to all of this. Um, and this is what I spend my 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. morning hour working on. So I try to keep this up to date with some next action items that I can just jump out of bed, grab my coffee, and start on something. Um, I'm covering up anything that I don't want you to see, so you should be able to see everything else. Um, just, yeah, some ideas, things that I've checked off that I have done, things up here are projects I've been putting off. That's where I keep my little um, ruler thingy. This is the Instagram challenge I'm sort of using as my prompts when I want something to tell me what to post on Instagram. This is hosted by my summer touch. Hashtag November planner challenge. Check it out because I'm kind of bogarting the tag on Instagram. So help me out here. Join me. And then this is in case I needed more tasks, but I haven't. And then on the back is a waiting on. If I've sent out an email that needs a response, I'm not going to show you what it is, but it is there. Then this little thing, insert from Peanuts Planner Co. It's called Goal Planning. I forget the number. Just search Goal Planning and you'll probably find it. And she posted a, re a, a different, slightly, slightly different version, very similar to this as well, um, in her November new insert thing. So if that's works better for you, go ahead. Anyway, anytime I have a project, I've been putting blog posts here, but I don't think I will be anymore um, for reasons. Uh, and just I put basically what the the task or the project is on the left, what the steps are on the right and in the middle, it's like, um, like brainstorming kind of. I'm not showing you a lot of these because they're things that are still in the works and I don't want to show you until they're ready to go, you know, but basically, yeah, they, they're they small projects that are not like massive month long things. It's like I, I'll work on this for the w a week or two. Um, and so having small sections like this works really well. And then at the end of the month, I go ahead and migrate it to a new set so that I can clear out all of the um, the ones that are already done. I put a line through here once it's done. Um, and having too many completed tasks on my list clogs things up, makes it harder to find the things that really do need to get done. So I, I once a month go through and, and migrate the things that haven't been done to um, a new set of these inserts. These next three are the topic plan for my videos and my blog posts. So I don't know if you've noticed the last couple of months I've started doing uh, color coding my thumbnails. So all of the green videos come out on Thursdays and the teal videos come out on Sundays. So basically this is just a 52 week spread from Peanuts Planner Co. It's front and back. Um, and I've been getting a little bit more detailed with these as they go along. So I put like the date that the video is going to come out and I put a little check mark once it's done. That check mark was a mistake. But this way at the beginning of the month or so, I plan out what the videos are going to be for the next month. Um, and right now, mid uh, November, I wanted to make sure I had everything. So I just today finished setting up like what the topics are going to be for the rest of the year. Um, and so that just I'll flip here when I need to know what 
the video topic is going to be. So here's Thursdays, here's Sundays, I've covered it up, and also the blog posts are the blue ones. Um, I just started doing that this month, so that's why it's blank until November. These little guys, um, you can check out, I just put up this as a download on my blog. If you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Um, this is, I use this sometimes when I need to do some free writing, brainstorming, or prep, or um, task tracking for a video in any of stage of production. So like this one, I barely started and I put the title, I marked that it's a Sunday video. Um, and then uh, I need to fill it out with you know, the five things that are my favorite for November. So I haven't actually started that yet, but I need to this week. Um, so that I just have, you know, a handful of those. And then a spread for video and also blog topic ideas, which I'm not showing you. Um, then after that, uh, oh, the next thing is like specifically some notes for one thing that I, I submitted it. It's anyway, there's like notes on videos, things like that. Um, these little stickers are for sometimes when I want to use all my weekly um, to show to show the different steps along the process. But I haven't been using them as much lately because um, I kind of keep it a little bit more free and I use more of the filming ones sometimes. Editing is something that sometimes takes a lot of time and sometimes takes very little. So, And then these are all just kind of some notes about various tangential topics that they belong here because it's channel stuff, but um, I don't really reference it a lot. So anyway, next tab, it's called landing pad because I couldn't remember the name inbox. It's an inbox. It's not a brain dump because I don't usually like, I feel like a brain dump is where you sit down and you write everything all on a list all at once and you empty your brain. And I need to do that. Um, and I'm probably going to do it here, but mostly what I use this for is, um, just for jotting down things if I don't know where they go right away um, or if I don't have a place to put them right away. It just, it lands here and then I can migrate it somewhere else when I need to um, or just take care of it. Sometimes it's just notes, you know, while I'm working on something, I need a spare piece of scratch paper. And yes, I'm aware my toddler got to it. I, I opened it up. I said, okay, you want to color in my planner? Great. This is the page where you can do it. And so every time I open it up, I see this beautiful art by my little 16 month old. She's so into coloring lately. Um, if you watched our wall calendar video, um, I think if I still have an annotation left, I'll, I'll link that one right there. Um, after I filmed that, she got it into her head that she was gonna help. And she has been demanding to be lifted up so that she can color. She'll grab a crayon, come over and say color and point to the calendar. And so it's all just covered in scribbles now. It's pretty cute, but also a little bit annoying. Uh, this is the one that like, I think is supposed to be the fly leaf in the front um, that came with the tabs and it doesn't have a tab, but it's just dividing um, that one page from the rest here where I have my future log. So this is the same future log. You will have seen it. It's filling up only one month left to color in. And then this is the future, the future future log for next year and thereafter. Here are all of my birthdays and anniversaries on this little fold out and then the recurring tasks. I just check this section uh, once a month, really, when I'm setting it up, setting up my month. And then the very last tab is for scratch paper. So a little sticker. Again, got this at Comic-Con. And all I have in here right now are, say, three pieces of grid paper. I need to refill this with some lines because um, I do like the lined paper for check uh, checklists. I have two jot pads in here. And then some little header stickers, some miscellaneous like weather stickers, and then a couple other cards that I also use. I had forgotten, like I've covered this up and I've basically just left this covered up since the first flip through where I had it covered up. I completely forgot that this gift card was in here. So I got to use that for like Christmas gifts or something. That's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know that there are a few of you who are like big fans of the flip through and I appreciate your enthusiasm so much because it keeps me going. You guys are the best and um, thank you for subscribing. We hit a thousand subscribers this month. I still can't get over how excited I am. So thank you. And I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.